Uh, so here we have the degree of curve and in here so a lot of learners were asking so this a certain formula where they were asking where it is gotten from so i want to prove something a little bit here so the degree of curve these are lectures by gadgira steven so let's look at the degree of curve here uh the degree of curve so the definition and explanation of different terms so the degree of curve this is the angle of a unit code of length 30 meter subtended at the center of the circle uh, formed by a curve which is known as the degree of curve so it is designated as d so the degree of curve here we have the d a uh, curve may be designated according to either the radius or the degree of the curve uh, when the unit code subtend an angle of one degree it is called a one degree curve and when it's the angle is two degree there's a two degree curve so this is just the representation of the degree of curve so that was just simple like that so the relationship between the radius and the degree of curve so here let the distance a b be the unit code so the unit code here is 30 meter that is what is mostly used even in the question paper so the code the substandard so the code is also th yeah that is just like an si unit there 30 meter uh then o the center of the circle r that is the radius then d here d that is the degree of curve so d is the degree of curve so here uh oa that is the distance of oa that is r then a to b that is 30 meter so by dividing that in two that will be five meter distance then our degree of curve also divided by 2 that will be d over 2 so the angle a o c is equals to d over 2 that is the degree of curve half and then from the triangle o a c uh, so by the use of soca toa let me so here we have soca toa so the sign here so this is the opposite of adjacent so by the look at this uh, so here we is where our triangle is 90 degree so this is, is the hypotenuse so sine sine theta and our theta is the degree of curve here so sine d over 2 is equals to uh, so here it's sine theta that is d over 2 is equals to opposite so when we have here so our opposite will be the distance ac then our uh, so yeah this will be the opposite then this is the hypotenuse so is equals to opposite distance ac and our distance ac here is 15 meter so that will be 15 meter over our hypotenuse that is r that is the distance a o so sine d over 2 is equals to 15 over r so uh yeah and in order for us to get the r the distance r will have our so by cross multiplication so r will be multiplied here and then 15 will be there so then again we can change that so here we'll have a division so that will be 15 over sine d over 2 here we have it again when d is very small sine d over 2 may be taken as in d over 2 in radians so you remember that so this is the radians so here our r is equals to so we need to convert this into uh, our radians so our radians here will be so this is 15 over uh, sine uh, converted into radian so this is d over 2 multiplied by uh, this pi uh, 180 so here we have pi 
multiplied by 180 by doing that this will be 15 multiplied by uh, these two times 180 that will be 360 and because here so this will be uh, we have something there uh, done in math uh, and that is one uh, radian is equals to pi over 180 degrees so if we convert this into radians that's where we'll multiply the pi over 180 degrees so this will be r so r will be equal to 15 over so this d over 2 and that sign we multiplied with radian so that will be pi over 180 degrees so r let me use so r is equals to 15 over so that is d over 2 so that will be d uh, multiplied by the pi over 360 so 180 times 2 that is 360 uh, because this is uh, a division and a division so here our r will be 1 so that will be 15 over um, d multiplied by the pi then 360 will be brought up by the use of a calculator 15 times 360 uh, and then divided by pi pi found on the calculator you'll get your answer as 1718.9 over d and this is the formula that people are asking me where it is gotten from so our r is equals to 17 18.9 or rounded off to 17.19 over d and that is the relationship that we have between the uh, radius and the degree of curve so this is where our formula is found so r is equals to 17 18.9 or 17.19 over d and this is the formula that is used in order for us to calculate the radius when given a circle where we have the degree of curve instead of the deflection angle so this is the formula that is used in most of the cases so and under there under that relationship we had the arc definition and we have the code definition so the similarity is the same so the arc definition is the same as what we have done here so in arc definition you use the arc as the sub standard length so that is the standard length then in the code definition you use the long code as the standard length so the formulas are a little bit similar as you can see here so r is equals to uh, s uh, s is the distance so s is the standard length yeah so s is equals so r is equals the standard length over uh, the degree of curve here the smaller degree of curve multiplied by 180 over the pi and that is similar to what we have done earlier the same here so r is equals to this 30 that is the standard length so the 30 standard length is what we had calculated earlier so this is the s so the formulas are are much similar so the arc definition and the code definition uh, these are the two formulas that are seen the yeah uh, but me the r1 and the same so here the arc definition and the code definition so this is the formula of the code definition and this is the formula of the arc definition which are 100 percent similar so by the arc definition the code definition that's where our formula that i had derived earlier is obtained in such a manner so that is the relationship between the radius and the degree of curve 
and that is what most people were asking so people were asking me why uh, this is this and this is that so I'm sure now you have a full concept of that so that will be all uh, so